What up, folks? I'm Ultrazilla, and today I have reviewed the Hyatt Toys Exquisite Mini Judge Dread PX Previews San Diego 2022 Exclusive. Well, I mean, I didn't get it from there. Uh, but exclusive. Uh, Judge Dread and Judge Death in monochrome colors or black and white colors. Uh, really, really, really cool. My first judge dread figures from haya uh and i'm very very excited i've been excited to check out this line i always liked judge dread so uh, this is very cool comes in this little blister pack which is uh you know it's just gonna be open and then thrown away which is good <laughs> um but it looks like it has some some fine accessories back there some guns bands so we'll have to check it all out judge Dredd's death is done in this interesting style of very very different there so without any further ado let's get to the review and hey real quick before we uh bust this open get into review proper i do want to thank Hyatt toys for sending this over for a review always appreciated and now let's get to that review and here they are out of the package but before we get to them let's look at the accessories they both come with these bases with all of uh, this all these like skeletons on there and uh they're actually different from each other which is super cool uh i really really like this a lot you know they have a little clip there though judge that does you know his current smoky configuration ghostly configuration doesn't really need it uh, but they do have them, and then we get 4H clips, you know, to clip these together, should you choose to do so. And you do that by putting it like that, and then taking this one. Right, there we go. So, if you want to put these together, you can do so, and that's pretty cool. You could keep combining them and create giant displays. We get two extra hands for, uh, Judge Death. One is a gripping hand though he doesn't have anything to grip here in this set it's really nicely sculpted and painted zoom in a little bit um so it's our first time with these guys uh and then kind of like a pointing hand you shall not pass um you know really really nicely done we get one trigger hand for judge dread as you can see nicely sculpted there in gray because he's gonna need it for his blaster this gun there, really, really cool. Got a little dial on there. Nice. Super, super nice stuff here, for sure. And uh, let's see, about putting it in here. Goes in decently well. And just to show it here, this is the hand he has on there already, and that is nicely sculpted. But here he is with the gun in his hand, and uh, that looks really cool. He also has a holster at the foot, here at the boot, in the boot. So if you want to uh, holster that, I believe it would just go in, no? I would think. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of goes in. Kind of. Just needed to put it in the right way. Um, so yeah, that looks good in there. I, I do uh, like that. It also comes with a billy club or a bat or whatever <laughs> they use. It's been a long time since I read any Judge Dread, uh, so I don't remember what they call it exactly. But really nicely done. You see a nice gradient on there. The handle looks cool. It's pretty good. Uh, and this, I guess you could put in the same hand, though it might might go in a different hand. I don't know. But we'll try it in this hand. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That totally works. I actually like that better. That's good. You know, gun in the boot, this in his hand. That's very Judge Dredd-esque to me. And for articulation on Dread, head is on a ball joint at the neck. You get the upper body movement. You get waist movement, which actually works really well. You are hindered a bit here at the shoulder, a bit, but not so much, actually. You have uh, articulation and the elbow, like so, which works good. I'm trying to figure out if there's a bicep swivel but you got these like elbow pads in the way but there is a swivel there at least the hands are on ball joints the legs are on ball joints kick forward kick back drop down joint which is good 
Double jointed knee works really, really great. Feet are on ball joint as well. Those work decently. So, yeah. If, you, if you've handled any uh, of the humans so far from Hyatt Toys, you know what you're getting here. Uh, and, it's, and it's fine. It works good. Oh, and uh, on this side, uh, these, this elbow pad can go up and down. For those wondering, uh, the helmet is not meant to come off, because if it does, that happens. <laughs> I mean, he does have a square head, right? And judge Death's articulation, head is actually up at the, uh, the ball joint is at the top there. You have a waist joint. And then, uh, we'll see about, this moves up and down. This does not, so a little bit hindered on that side. Hand swivel at the elbow, hands move on ball joints. Uh, and there's a really, really tight, nice bendy wire here, which ends right there. But really, really nice. You're going to be able to get Judge that uh, in a few different poses there with that. That's good. And shaking, taking a look at Judge Death in full here to start. This shoulder pad with all the bones is really nice. Got gray with a little bit of white at the end. That looks really good. On this shoulder pad, you got this like... Is it a pterodactyl? Some sort of demon? I don't know. Bat? It looks like a pterodactyl. I don't, I don't really remember, but uh, some sort of devil. Got a little devil tail. Nicely sculpted there. Oh, where, where'd you go? Uh, nicely sculpted there. That looks pretty good. These little elbow pads you know, which, you know, you really can't keep them on the elbow pads if you want. <laughs> uh, they look really good. Bone, a uh, little strap there, which is good. A little buckle. Sleeves have nice folds and wrinkles. Hands look really good. I do dig them. Very, very nicely done there. This belt buckle is incredible. Look at that. Bat, skull, horn. All the little pouches look good. Look at all the folds and wrinkles on the back here, on the spine. That's incredible, all the way up to the collar. On the front, get his death badge, which looks amazing. A lot of, again, a lot of folds and wrinkles in the front here. All of uh, those stitchings look awesome. The head sculpt is very nice. The teeth, you can see him picked out there in white, look really good. His, uh, Eye grill there looks awesome. Those are like, you know, I don't know, gates, bony gates. I don't know, whatever they're supposed to be. They look great. Uh, I do uh, like them. Um, the helmet is very nice. You got some white splattered on there. Uh, yeah, it looks really good. And then you get to the bottom here. And this looks so cool. I love seeing it in this form. The smoky, gross-looking form. I like it because, see, it goes from uh, clear, and then it gets a little gray, and then into the blackness. It's a really nice sculpt. I, I, I like it a lot for uh, this bendy wire tail thing. Smoke. Uh, it looks amazing. So, I like it a lot. I think the proportions are really nice on this guy. So, yeah, this is this is excellent. As for Judge Dredd himself, oh, his head sculpt is awesome. Like his helmet a lot. Again, you got some splatter on there. You got some paint on the sides, on this side here. I'm not sure what this paint is supposed to be, but it's fine. Some more splatter or something. I think his helmet looks really good. His mouth looks amazing. Could use a little more black on one side, but it does give it an interesting smirk all around. But all the detail is there, which is good. His badge looks really good. The chain that goes to the badge, no, it does not come up. Looks good. I like the collar a lot. All of that. Again, nice folds and wrinkles, um, which is cool. The back here is really nice. Probably gonna have to put a little glue on here since I took this off and I don't think it was supposed to come off uh, <laughs> but it's fine it's not like it's not coming off uh, shoulder pad here is really nicely sculpted and painted this side here is done well with the eagle look at that really nice painted sculpt there 
shoulder pads, uh, the elbow pads, I should say, look really nicely done. And then his gloves and like these pouches here look awesome. Very nice, very, very nice. Again, the Judge Dread, uh, the Dread badge there looks awesome. You can see Dread is picked out. And I love how the chain is coming off of it and that creates like its own D. That's very cool. The um, zipper going down looks good. His belt buckle looks good. And then all the pouches all around look really nicely done. His buttocks look fine. And, uh... <laughs> Got nice folds and wrinkles and musculature on his uh, krajiji and his thighs there. And then the knee pads are done well. This little holder here, gun holder, pouch there. Hilt. Hilt? No. Um, looks good. The boots look really nice. Really nice. I like the edges of the boots. So that's really good, and the proportions on Dread are excellent. I do like it a lot. So that's very, very cool. The black and white colors are awesome. It's like, you know, a black and white comic. It's very, very good looking. A nice look all together here for Judge Dread. And for your size comparisons, here is Judge Dread and Judge Death with a bunch of other higher toys you might have in your collection. And I gotta say, the Robocop stuff goes really good. <laughs> which Judge Dread, and as you can see, I think the size of Dread to the Predators is actually excellent too, if you want to do some Dread versus Predator action. Yeah, you're gonna be able to do that, and I think that's awesome. And my final thoughts, I think the set is really nice. Um, it's my first experience with their Judge Dread stuff, and I like it, I do. I think Judge Death looks amazing. I love the bendy wire smoke tail, whatever. It looks fantastic. It really, really does. And uh, the details on that figure are superb, as are the details on Judge Dread. Um, I like his weapons and, you know, even their bases here. It's fun to see something different. And I like how it looks all together. So there you go. A really nice set. I really like it in black and white. I'm always a fan of that. The uh, gray tones looks look phenomenal on these figures so yeah looking forward to um possibly doing more judge dread here on the channel from haya uh and i do want to thank them for sending uh these over for a review and there you go guys that's my review hope you dug it let me know your thoughts down below and please like comment subscribe and share check me out on facebook and instagram stay safe until next time peace out please.